Aha, there's a charger in my garage. Today, I want to clean out all the leaves out of here. Imagine that. And uh, tear out the floor and reinstall it. Two reasons for that. One is because it's not even anchored down to where it's supposed to be. There's gaps. They don't are not sealed right. And also the torsion bar cross brace down below. Hey Rusty. That's where the frame joins into it. It's basically gone. It's toast. And here's the other side. Yeah, it don't look very happy. So, I guess I have a good reason to tear this floor out. And the gaps I was talking about, I can stick my finger between that gap right there. A big gap, you know, just all around there. And this is the torsion bar cross brace that's going to go in it. It's time to hang the clock. Okay, first things first. It's not a trailer hitch, but it's close. Just racked my shin right on that thing, walking by. <laughs> I'm like, oh, there's plenty of room to walk through here. Wham! <laughs> uh, that cracked me up. At least I have easy access to uh, jack up my car. <laughs> to put... I'm on wheel dolly so I can move the car around easier. Only one lug holding the whole thing on. It's not even tight. Same with the other side. One lug. One is better than nothing. At least that one's kind of ran up tight. But there's one, two, three of them busted off. Crazy. But hey, it rolled. Thankful for that. Take my the dash frame out and the steering column since it's not even the right one for the car and it doesn't hook up anyway. I still need a steering column. If someone can hook me up with that, I'll be looking for one. I just got done talking with my wife and I told her, you know, things I need to do. And she said, yeah, I can help you hang your cabinet. I'll put that one there. I'll put the big one back in the corner. but probably right here but then I have to move this which I want to move it anyway because it's taking up valuable space I still need to clean all of this and that'll clean this up okay I'll take this out next do what I can because time is getting very short to go to work again Shouldn't be too hard to take the dash out or the steering column. It's only held in the wire, if that. Wait for it. That was easy. There we go. Woo Never thought I'd see the day there would be a clean green bin in my garage. Time to get this floor out of here. It's going to be fun because they, whoever put this floor in welded it all the way across the back. So I get to take all that out and it goes all the way over, all the way there. 
And then I have to take this mid piece out because I'm sure there's daylight under there. And these are all rivets. Every one of these is a rivet. And then they ground them down. Going all the way up here. I think I take all them out. Going across the front. It gets interesting up here because this is where it's supposed to meet and you have your flange there and then you pinch weld the flange together all the way around but what they did was they welded they cut that flange off all the way across the front all the way across you can see daylight through there and then they kept the existing floor on and butt welded it and it's all rotted you know right up here so you get to replace all that and then they butt welded well there's that flange is gone right here yeah so there's a gap there so i get to add material there and make all that work so and that's another reason why this floor is coming out Plus, I get to replace the torsion bar cross brace after I take all these rivets out. And these rivets, down below, there's a gap in between some of these spots down there. So I got to make sure that it is all nice and tight again. So let's do it. And then I'll probably have to take this back section out this whole section because it's getting back halved and then I'll have to probably recreate my own floor I spent yesterday and I had to clean up my garage some I got some cupboards up like I said I was going to I got that one out of the way and I just scoot my car all the way over because I won't really need to be getting back here for anything. So now I got lots of room again. So I got all this space here to work around. So now let's take out this floor. I got everything done. I cut through all of that, all the way, just straight through. Got all those broke loose. These are junk. One, I was over here, that one right there actually, and uh, got one turn out of it and it just sheared every single tooth of it off. I'm like, are you kidding me? So they don't last very long. That one I had did the whole rooftop over there. And these are $5 at Harbor Freight. I need to find another company that makes them. Hopefully they're a little bit stronger than these. I'm almost there. Uh, I'll have it out probably tomorrow morning. That'll be my goal and it's time to go eat. What I'll probably do is take a piece of tape and put it over here to make a straight line and then take my saws all and cut on that line. And then I have a nice straight edge. I'm ordering a outer rocker. Um, see how toasted and roasted this thing is. Ow, I just put my knee on a wrench. That did not feel good.
torsion bars are no longer hooked up. It's kind of hard to do uh, precision work with uh, primitive demo tools. <laughs> I think I did a pretty good job. Tape was a good idea. I goofed up in one area though. Right, Rusty? <laughs> he waits ever so patiently for me. When I cut this area here, there's a, a fold in the metal where it comes here and then drops down. So I just kept following the tape, but the tape went down that angle. And I stopped and looked where I was and I was like, oh crap. I can stitch this back together, but no big deal. That's easy to fix. So anyway, then I had to use the cutoff wheel over here. And in order to cut this, I had to go down into the metal here. But, you know, I can just fill that in no problem. So, and then when I cut this area out to fix the rust, I'll extend all of this to bring it down to my cut line and make all that one piece. When I make this patch piece coming all the way across, I'll just make it come straight down to the floor and butt weld up against it. Does it look good, Rusty? What do you think? Oh, there's my alarm. Got to get to work. Let's take the floor out. I'm only getting little by little done each day, but something's better than nothing. Okay cut up there. I think it's basically ready to come out. Just got to move all my tools and find out where it's stuck at and all that fun stuff. Not gonna happen. <laughs> I had to try. I knew it wouldn't. I pulled out one torsion bar one day. The next day I pulled out the other torsion bar. I got it undone. And then the next day I cut across here. The next day got the floor pan to where it is now. Tomorrow I'll get these out. But hey, a tortoise in the hair, right? Do, <laughs> do what you can when you can. Slow and steady wins the race. Um, that's my, uh, why you saying for today. It's not much each day, but it's something. And I don't want to air my garbage on YouTube and say, oh, this is why I didn't get this done today. And this is why I didn't get that done today. Those are called excuses. I don't have excuses. They are reasons why I couldn't work as much as I want to each day. If I did all this in one day, I could probably have it, but do what you can while you can. That was easy. 